the Art Ninja Superhero Kite. Pants worn over trousers, optional. I'm going to start by getting some old plastic bags. With a pair of scissors, just going to cut off the handle. Do it with that bit. I'm just going to cut off the side seam here. Don't need that either. And now I'm going to cut this into strips. Two thin strips, I say about two centimetres, and some wider ones, about four centimetres in width. Now, in order to make the fabric for my kite, I need to cut these other coloured bags into strips too. So I'm going to use my ninja skills. There we go, lovely. So I'm going to take one of these strips, and using masking tape, I'm going to hold it onto the table. Now I'm going to take another colour and stick this one down and try and make sure that they're butted up against each other without any gaps. I'm using different widths, and I haven't really got a system with the colours. I'm just going to put them down in a random order, but I'm making sure that the same colour doesn't meet. Now I'm going to stick these together with some long strips of sellotape. If you find it tricky using one long piece of sticky tape, you can always cut it and use a few shorter pieces. I'm going to pin it up. There we go, and my lovely piece of material ready for my kite. Now for the kite's frame, I'm using some skewers. I've chopped the sharp end off, I don't need that. And I'm going to tape pairs of them together to make longer sticks. I want to make sure they're stuck together tightly and give the kite strength. Now I'm just laying them down top of my fabric and I'm going to put my second length about a quarter of the way along my first. Now with a pen, I'm just going to mark where the skewer's ends are. A little dot, get this out of the way for now. And using a ruler, I'm going to join up those dots. Now I can cut out my kite shape. I want to take my time here, so I don't want to ruin my fabric. There we go. Do away with this bit. Now I've got this wonderful kite shape. Put my frame back onto it, like that. And with a little bit of sticky tape, I'm going to tape down the frame to the corners. I'm just folding around the edges to make it nice and tidy. And there we go. That is the main body of my kite. <laughs> you're so funny when you think you're on your own. Sarah. Now I need to add some string in order to fly my kite. So for that, I'm just using some cotton thread and a large lolly stick. Just going to tape one end onto the lolly stick, and then I'm going to wrap the thread round. There we go. That should do it for length. Just take that off. So I'm going to thread it onto a needle. If you're going to try this at home, you might want to get an adult to help you. I'm going to stitch this where the skewers cross. Let's make a little X pattern there for strength. Now just tie it off. Now there's one last thing I want to do, and that is to add a tail, and this will keep it stable when it's in the air. I've taped lots of pieces of plastic together to make a long strip. It's six times the length of the kite, which will help it fly. I'm just going to tie it to the bottom bit here. There you go. Check it out. You don't have to make a kite this shape. How about a stripy snake? Or a floaty butterfly? And they really do work. Oh.